Phishing scams are designed to steal consumers' personal identity data and financial credentials, and in this video, we'll share strategies to help you avoid these scams. Most security experts agree that the number and sophistication of phishing attacks is on the rise. And one study found that approximately 45% of the time, users submitted their login information to the phishing site they visited. The work of identity thieves is made easy when so many people willingly share their login credentials. But there are often clues that you can use to determine whether a message is legitimate or a phishing attempt. Most importantly, the university and most reputable businesses will never send you emails asking you to share or submit your private data. You should always be suspicious of messages that ask you for this information. If you ever receive a suspicious email, do not reply, click any links, or open attachments. The site or attachment you open might contain computer viruses that automatically get downloaded and installed on your computer. In fact, it's a good practice to never click a link in an email. Instead, open a web browser and type the website address or search for it using a legitimate search engine. Because phishing attacks often use the contact lists of compromised accounts, you might receive a phishing email from someone you know. Unless you are expecting an attachment from a contact, it's best to verify that your colleague indeed meant to send you the message and attachment. Although the university uses technology to block malicious emails and phishing websites, this technology is no substitute for being a conscientious internet user. If you ever have questions about the legitimacy of an email, you are welcome to contact the IT Service Center at help at colorado.edu or by calling 303-735-4357.